a little math every day is good for everybody. Mathematics in the house. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mathematics in the House. I'm Matt Maddox, and we're in the house. In the house. Really excited that you could join us today because we're just about to go on a math adventure. And as I always say, we learn better when we learn. We learn better when we learn. <clears throat> we learn better when we learn. Together. There it is. When we learn together. And Carl had a really interesting and fancy word for what we were just talking about. What was it again, Carl? <laughs> Collacitation. Sorry, collaboration. What does that mean, Carl? Carl says that collaboration means when we work together to accomplish something or to create something. It's kind of like teamwork. Speaking of teamwork, do you have a partner there on your side of the camera? Can you have, do you have someone that you can talk to about these problems as we go through on our math adventure? We always learn better when we learn together. Together. So, on the count of three, I want you to shout out their name. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we've got a lot of math adventurers joining us today. And you know what? Many hands make light work. And Carl and I were just about to do some spring cleaning. And Ondutwa was supposed to help us, but she's not around. Have you, have you seen her? Is she there with you? I haven't seen She's not there on your side. There she is. There's on du toit. Bonjour, on du toit. Bonjour, bonjour. On du toit, you're very excited today. C'est un numéro du jour très spécial. She said this number of the day is very special to her. Why is that? Regardons-le ensemble. You want us to just take a look and we'll find out? Oui. All right, let's see what we got. The number of the day today is milk, tuna, mousetrap. Eh? Oh, this is your shopping list, isn't it? Ah, oui, change de côté. Oh, turn it over. What have we got on the other side? The number of the day is the number four. Le numéro quatre. Well, I can see why this is a very special number for you. Can you guys at home figure it out? Why do you think On Du Trois Cat thinks number four is very special? That's right. It's because it's her name counted to her name counts to four in French. Un, deux, trois, well. On du toit, why don't we get you to have a seat over into your special spot here? Oui. And you know what? Leave those those little mice alone. We don't need any mouse traps. You leave those poor mice alone. Bon. You comfy there? Oui, merci. Great. All right. So what are some things that we can do that's interesting with the number four? What are some things that come in four? I've got one. I know that four, there are four seasons. Carl says that we can have two plus two is four, and that two times two is four, two groups of two. Well, that's really neat. What can you think of that comes in fours? Why don't you take a moment and talk with your math adventurer partner and see what sort of things you can come up with that come in four or things that are interesting about the number four. And, oh, you already did it. Let's see, what kind of ideas have you got? That's a really good one. Music is often grouped into groups of four. Just listen to the music. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And cut! That's a really interesting one. And I, there's so many more things that we can do with four. I'm going to show you one more. As part of our spring cleaning, I found four four-sided figures. Now, Carl and I could not decide which one of these we wanted to throw out or recycle uh, or put in our donate pile. I said this one here because this one is different from the rest of them. But Carl said number four because this one is different from the rest of them. We can't decide which one doesn't belong. Which one do you think doesn't belong? Oh, wow. I don't think any of us are going to be able to agree on which one doesn't belong. I heard some of you say number two. On du toit said number three. I said number one. Carl said number four. You know what? I wonder. I wonder which one is. Wonder. I wonder which one doesn't belong. I said it. Where well, it's time 
to put on our Notice and Wonder goggles. You don't know what Notice and Wonder goggles are? Well, there are any goggles that we can wear that allow us to look at the world around us, notice interesting things, and wonder and ponder really interesting questions. So let's put on our Notice and Wonder goggles and let's take a look at what we got. Let's turn it right side up. Hmm. I notice that this one is blue while the rest of them are red. I wonder if that one doesn't belong. Carl said number four because he noticed that it's on lined paper. I wonder if that was the one that doesn't belong. On du trois said number three because it has thick lines. I wonder if she's right. Bien sûr. Hmm. I wonder who can help us out. I know just the person. I know just the person to call who can help us. Let's give my good friend Kyle a call. Hi, Kyle. How you doing? Hey, Matt. How are you? I'm doing really good. Well, actually, Carl and I can't really agree on something. We were hoping you could help us out. We've got a bit of a bit of a problem here. Paul, I would love to help. Awesome. Um, so we're doing a bit of spring cleaning, and we've got four four-sided figures here, and we can't figure out which one we wanted to recycle. Because I said number one, because it has blue lines and the rest of them are red. Carl said number four because it's on lined paper. And the kids at home, well, they said number two, they said number three, one, and four. We can't figure out who's right. Can you tell us which one of us is correct? Holy smokes, it sounds like you've got a big problem on your hands. We sure well, do. Actually, Matt, if I look if I look closer, I think you might all be right. Huh? What? How is that possible? Yes. I think it, I think it, you can all be right because you can you can actually consider different attributes. Different at your boots. No, not at your boots. Attributes, you know, the things that we use to classify and organize objects and even attributes help us when we want to decide what it is we want to count when it comes to different objects. Wow, that's really interesting. So we can look at different attributes, and depending on which one we're looking at, we can all be right? Absolutely. Did you want me to explain a little bit further? Yeah, please. I mean, I know what you're talking about. Well, why don't you explain it for Carl? <laughs> okay, okay. Just for Carl, not for Matt. I'm going to explain it for Carl. Um, actually, I was doing some spring cleaning myself, and I came across these three different images. And I'm wondering if if you and Carl and maybe some of the kids at home actually looked at about which one doesn't belong out of these four. What do you think? Hmm, what do you think, Carl? <laughs> Carl is saying the one that's scattered everywhere. Now, Carl, I, I don't think that's right. I think it's the one that's a little bit faded. Interesting. And actually, you know what? The kids at home, they might agree with you, or maybe they think about some of the other ones as not belonging. And again, we'd all be right. Because if you actually look a little closer, if we think about these dots as a set, and we actually count the attribute of how many individual dots there are, well, actually, the top left actually has the most dots. But if we look at things like area, the attribute of area, like which one actually covers the most area on the screen, we could argue that maybe the bottom left would be the one that doesn't belong. Hey, that's or the one you picked, Carol. Maybe we Carol. look at color. And that's the one I picked. Interesting, because if I look at the bottom right, that one looks really faded, so maybe it doesn't belong because it doesn't have as much color saturation. The attribute of color could be considered. So there's all kinds of different attributes that we can look at to give us a different perspective on which one doesn't belong. That's really interesting. So it's not all, math is not all just numbers and operations. It can be other things too. It sure can, and actually math is beautiful in that way, that there's so much that we can learn and talk about, and attributes actually are what help us to do those things. That's amazing, Kyle. I don't know if you've made our spring cleaning any easier, but you've certainly given us tons to think about. Oh, I'm so glad. I don't know. I, I try to help, 
But at least if you have something to think about to keep you busy while you're cleaning, then I think my job is done here. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Kyle. Have a great day and good luck with your spring cleaning. You too. Bye, Matt and Carl. Bye, kids. Bye-bye. That's really interesting. We can all be right, depending on which attribute we're looking at. Well, you know what? I've got a few other things that I think we can look at their different attributes and figure out which one doesn't belong. I've got four different balls here. Which one do you think doesn't belong? Do you think it's the rainbow ball? Because it has so many different colors? Maybe it's this little tiny fella right here because of his size. Why don't you pause the video and talk to your partner and see which one doesn't belong and what attributes you might be looking at. Oh, you guys couldn't agree either. Well, all right, well, let's try a different one. I've got four foam figures here, and I can't figure out which one doesn't belong. Which one do you think doesn't belong? Why don't you do another quick little pause and talk about... Wow, you guys are fast. You guys had a really rich discussion, and let's hear your ideas. You think the Z doesn't belong? Why is that? Oh, because the rest are primary colors. That's a really interesting one. I heard someone say that the number one doesn't belong because it, it's a number. That's right. Ooh. And oh, la lettre A est une voyelle. On du trois says that A doesn't belong because it's a vowel, and the rest are consonants and numbers. It's really interesting. I've got one more here that I want to show you. This one's a doozy. Are you ready for this one, Carl? I've got four different patterns. And hopefully they don't all fall down on me. But which one don't you think, which one do you think doesn't belong? We've got the one at top here is diamond, diamond, square, diamond, diamond, square, diamond, triangle, triangle. We've got square, upside down, triangle, and then diamond, triangle. Which pattern doesn't belong? Can you pick a pattern? and make an argument as to why it doesn't belong? Because as Kyle said, every single one of these could be a correct answer if we know what attribute we're looking at. Well, Carl and I certainly have our work cut out for us when it comes to our spring cleaning. We learned so much today. We learned a little bit about collaboration. We learned about that fancy word, attributes. Attributes, sorry Carl, attributes. And Kyle taught us that math isn't always all about numbers and operations. It can be about patterns and these characteristics and sorting things according to their attributes. That's right. So I hope you had fun on our math adventure today. There's only one more thing left to do and that's for us to say goodbye. Here we go. I guess I gotta go. But I'll see you next time. It was great. We had a blast. We had some fun. Doing math. And I can't wait to see you next time. See you next time, everybody! Oh.